Hi, Mom. Uh, if it looks different, no, it doesn't. I decided to just redo the first day and stuff because I had forgotten how everything was set up, so it's fine. Hi. That's right. Ooh. Hello there. Ahoy, sir. Mister. Ahoy there, miss. Okay, I- the socializing is going well. In my head, he has an accent. It's maybe like Scottish or Irish. Heard there was a newcomer in town. I'm gonna embarrass myself if I try to do any kind of accent. Heard there was a newcomer in town. <laughs> Good to finally meet ya. Still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. I want you to have my old fishing rod. Thank you. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Thanks. Wow. Lo and behold, a stick with a string. My shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I don't have any money. If it smells, it sells. That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. I'm not gonna think too hard about that. Jump in the water! Oh my god, sir, don't smoke right next to me. Can a fish please hurry up and come? Where are the fish? This is the ocean. This is where the fish are. I pride myself on how very smart I am. Oh! Ha 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 ha. Oh yes, wow, look at these skills. I'm so very talented. I like how the first fish I caught was a sunfish, which is a river fish, so it's fresh water. And this is the ocean. Okay, I'm gonna go fish the heck out of the mountain. Y'all. Why are we so close together? We're like having a staring contest. Ah, the new farmer we have all been expecting. This is not- that's not how Elliot talks. He's a writer who lives in a shack by the ocean. And he has long, majestic, flowing hair. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. You could just point to it, since we're right there, but it's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise? I hear you're a writer! Do you want to share, uh, some more about how you like writing? Cause, cause you should, um, we could write together sometime in, in your shack over there. Um, anyway, this person, why is everybody smoking? in front of me all the time. Hello, Sebastian. You just moved in, right? Cool. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town. Out of all the haircuts you could have, you chose that one. You're smoking and you're like young and you're gonna end up bald and having to do illegal things to make money. And then what's gonna happen? I'll tell you what's gonna happen. You're gonna be Walter White, and that's not gonna be very fun for you, because you will miss your emo haircut. And that, and you know whose problem that won't be? Mine. Wow. All in the same day, I accomplished nothing. Rise and shine. No, no. Rise and shine. Oh. I don't think we can rise and shine, because, uh... Oh my god, Clint, what are you doing here at 6 in the morning when it is pouring down rain? You can't just jump scare me like that. Don't you have, like, somewhere to be? Like, an Emily to go get friend zoned by? Or, like, I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. Where were you? How did you know this? Were you watching me? That's creepy, Clint. That's what we're gonna have to call you now, Creepy Clint. If you wanna get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Okay, give me one. Just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around here. Here, I want you to have them. Wow, thank you so much, Creepy Clint. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. Whoa, that 
is absolutely insane, dude. The, the I never would have thought about that. That's so crazy. Gus! Oh my god, right on time. Look at me. He kind of looks like Mario. Like his, his little pixel guy there. Good evening, can I get you anything? I thought I haven't met you. What is your deal, dude? I have several issues. I'm going to file a serious complaint. That's not cool. Hello, it's me. Looks like a good day to play catch, huh? If you weren't a girl, I'd ask you to play catch. If you weren't an idiot, I'd have a conversation with you. I want to play catch with you. I guess I underestimated you. And I overestimated you. You are very stupid. My arm's a little sore, but maybe next time. Hello. Hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. I do not like. Evelyn is fine. Mm. <laughs> it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. <laughs> Why don't you roll off? Just roll away. You can roll away if you don't like me, Grandpa, sir. You can roll away. Just, just roll away. They see me rolling. <laughs> they hate it. Hello! Hello, I'm Penny. No, I thought you were a quarter. Thought you were quarter. Turns out you're just Penny. Ew, 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 no, no! Ew, 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 no, 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 no. Ew, 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 ew. I want it, I got it. I see it, I like it, I want it. I, I, fish it. Dreamed a dream in time gone by. Ah, no, not the eel. Do I have the eel? I have eel, 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 eel. I really hope I pressed the thing and it's recording. Eel, 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 oh, eel. Eel! Don't lose the eel! Don't lose the eel. Don't lose the eel. Eel! She caught the eel! She caught the eel! She caught the eel! She went for a hike. Uh, she went on a hike to uh, go find the spring onions. And she found spring onions. And she found another spring onion. Amazing. Wow, look at her. She can make a Big Mac. I'm rich. Guess who wants money? Robin. Again. Wow, that is so shocking. Here is how surprised I am. Aren't you the one who just moved in? Wow, I'm so famous. I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Is that how you say it? Maru? Maru? Girl. How do I say- How do people- How is your name said? What is Harvey doing? He's like staring at a jar. What? What's in the jar, Harvey? It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Really? Where's your degree? Cause all I see right now is a guy staring into a jar. Blue hair and pronouns. Ooh, I can read it on your face. You're gonna love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Okay, bye! <laughs> Tell me, Jody, how I can earn your love! I'm Jody. I know. Tell me how I can earn your love! Set you free! Hello, small child. Oh, a stranger! My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. This child is literally all by himself in this small town, in this house. I could have just picked him up and walked off with him, and no one would have even noticed until it was time to go to sleep.
Stranger danger, Vincent. Hello, you must be Ray, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Caroline, you have green hair, but your daughter has purple hair and you complain about her dyeing her hair. And the implication there is either that your hair is naturally green or you're a hypocrite. Which is it, Caroline? Sorry. Caroline, maybe. Girl, she got a sandfish for 225. I could complete the fish tank before the unlocking the desert with that. I'm gonna do it. I did it. Oh, wow. Would you look at that? A cutscene. Hello, sir. Oh, hi there. Why do you run this down? That's right. You don't. I do everything. Or I will be very soon anyway. Nothing! What an eyesore. I kind of like it. This is the Pelican Town Community Center. Or what's left of it, anyway. Wow! If only we had a mayor who could do something about it. But we don't! I will beat you up. It used to be the pride and joy of the town. Always bustling with activity. Then do something about it. <laughs> then he just looks at me. Now just look at it. It's shameful. Just like your accomplishments as mayor. Shameful. Because there are no accomplishments. There's just shame. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. No, that's just who you are. Joja Corporation <clears throat> has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Why doesn't Joja build a supermarket somewhere with a population, like, of over 30? Like, cause, <laughs> we like, hardly have- uh, Do we even have 30? Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Oh well. Wow! If anyone else buys a Joja Co. membership, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. That's a weird, like, way to make that decision. <sighs> Here, let's go inside. Why? So- So you can talk me into doing some- doing your job? Okay. Hmm? What's this? Girl, you were telling me what this place is! I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. How? If it was locked and I couldn't get in, that's what you think that is? Okay. You think that those children, you think Vincent and Jazz could put together something that neatly? This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. Wow, he uses words with lots of syllables. Oh, it's a cube. With legs. What? Don't be suspicious. Don't be su Oh, it teleported. It's gone. What's the matter? Are you ill? Are you gonna die soon because I've had enough of you, Grandpa Luigi man? You saw something? Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. Well, I see one right now. Why is he so happy, like, when he's like, this place might be full of rats? <laughs> oh my god, a cube! Oh, it's, it was, it, it was headbanging. That's how a, that's how a little cube guy does it. I know what they're called, but I'm not gonna say it yet. You're worrying me, Ray. Oh no. It would be a shame if you were so worried that that you got a heart attack and then you weren't mayor anymore bye hey i'll keep this place unlocked from now on maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time why do you what that makes no sense wow i don't know what this says a random thing in an ancient runic language amazing she's a runner she's a track star she's a runner she's a track star 
I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. As one does. Gonna take my horse to the old mine shaft. How'd you lose your eye? It's been abandoned for decades. Well, not anymore. Still, there's probably good ore down there. If it's been abandoned for decades, why does the elevator still function? What year is it? But a dark place, undisturbed for so long. I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Creeper! <laughs> oh man! Here, take this, you might need it. Wow, a terrible sword. You received a rusty sword. Well, at least if the sword fails to uh, oof them, anyone who forgot to get their tetanus shot will get an infection anyway. Thanks, eye patch guy. Oh, name's Mar Marlin? Marlon, by the way, I run the Adventurer's Guild right outside, and yet no one was advertising. It's not a very good Adventurer's Guild if you don't stand outside going, Adventurer's Guild! Looking for adventurers! Do your job better. I'll keep my eye on you. I wasn't ready! Prove yourself, and I might think about making you a member. At least I have both eyes! Huh? How about that? Cyclops man! He, he can't hear me. He went away. And down she goes. Oh! That's not supposed to still be on my computer. Does it work? Bug slice. A bug slice. Whoa, cool. Slime attack. Slime attack. Slime attacks. Wop, 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 wop. Wow, amazing. Why does this one have a star? I think that's why. Whoa. Come here, sucker. Ah, I failed. Y'all. I found an artifact, baby. She finally has a furnace. Wow, look at her go. How long is this gonna take? Whoa, that's a funny number. I'm only 17, I shouldn't have to. I'm 17. We can be 17. 